Welcome to my little wood shop. Today I'm going to show you step by step how I created this 3D wine cellar sign. And um, this I'm using a piece of live edge wood that I got from Montana this last year. Um, it's actually a type of a pine, but it turns blue. Um, it's a different kind of pine tree than we have here in Colorado. But um, yeah, this is a this is a wine cellar sign that I made for my friend. And I'm going to take you step by step. We'll, we'll go through the drawing process of it, the tool paths, and then I'll show you carving it on, a, on the Abbott CNC. Anyway, let's get started. Work hard, get dope. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. I go hard, do what I need to make it last. They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad. Okay, here we are over at our Vectric software. And the, the one I have is Aspire 11.015. We're going to go create a new file. We're, our width is going to be 24. Our height is going to be 12. Our material thickness is 2 inches. And we're going to go from the material surface, but we're going to go from the center. Um, and the reason I'm going to do that is because up here I have a live edge on both top and bottom. So basically what I want to do is I want to zero out right from the center. And hopefully that works. I have not done that before. Now modeling resolution, we're going to change this. We're going to go to the, meet the middle high, three times slower. And the reason being, we're doing a 3D drawing. And material settings, we're not doing walnut, we're doing pine, so pine. Okay, and we're gonna hit, okay. So there's our dimensions. Now, our material is actually a little wider than this, but but we're gonna start from the center, and this, this keeps us in the middle of our program. Now, I've already got, I've already got a design that I've been working on and let me go up here and see if we can't import this design. Oh, here we go. Okay, here's the wine cellar sign that I worked on. I need to change this because obviously we're gonna we're gonna do a few little different things on this thing. Um, we're gonna change the material size. We're gonna go to the X Y position zero. The width twenty four. Height twelve. Material thickness two, and we're going to go with a slower resolution and hit OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to erase some of the stuff. OK. Oh, it's changing the tool paths. OK, first thing we need to do is we're going to change the shape of this thing. We're going to get rid of some stuff. So we're going to delete that. We're going to delete this, delete that tool path. Um, actually, we're going to delete all the tool paths. We're going to start over. Actually, we're going to delete the V car of tool path. I'm going to I'm going to ungroup this um, ungroup component. So now you can take these grapes. You can move them. Now, I think what I want to do is I'm going to grab this little black node down at the bottom. Now, I want to spin this around a little bit. And I also want to make it bigger. Now, I'm going to get rid of the other one. Delete. And what I'm going to do is mirror this one so it's exactly on the other side. Right up here, you'll see these, let's see, no, right up here, mirror selected object, and flip horizontal. So there we go. So now we have, this is all exactly in the center. We still have our wine bottle exactly where we want. And there's our sign right there. So let's go over to the tool. Now what we need to do is group our 3D stuff all together. So. Hold the shift key down, select each one. There we go. Now we're going to group them. Now we're going to go up to, we're going to go up to right here, this little 3D roughing tool path. We'll do the roughing one first. Now this is going to take a little while because I'm not going to use a very big bit. I'm going to use a down cut bit. So this is telling me to check my material. I'm two inches thick. I'm starting at the top. 
model position, all that looks okay. Let's hit okay. Now what we're gonna do is, this has an eighth inch cut bit, but I, I wanna use a bigger bit because this is a bigger piece of material. So I'm gonna use a RD2075 right there. Select. So this is the one I'm gonna use because, and we're gonna do material boundary, and you can see everything it's doing right there. 3D roughing, and I'm gonna put in RD2075. So this is a quarter inch bit. And the reason I'm gonna use a quarter inch bit, I, I, might, I might do this twice, but for now I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna run a roughing toolpath with this bit, and then I might do another roughing toolpath. Let's see what this does. So there's our roughing toolpath. Now that looks pretty weird. Preview visible toolpath. Okay, that is exactly what I want. Now you can see it's taken quite a bit away. Let's close this and go back. So there you can see the toolpath for the quarter inch bit. We're gonna do another roughing toolpath. 0.125, select 0.125, and calculate. So we're gonna run two, two, two roughing toolpaths. Let's, let's, uh, let's close this and we'll highlight both of them. We're gonna reset it, preview both. So there's the quarter inch bit, and then there's the eighth inch bit. Now let's reset that again. Let's see the difference in them. So we're gonna do the roughing one first, preview. So you can see that. Now let's go ahead and run them both this time and see the difference. Preview visible tool pass. So you can see it did give it a little more detail with the eighth inch. Now what we're gonna do, we'll close that. We're gonna go to our finishing tool path. And we're using a tapered ball nose, 46288, and this is by Amana. Now I'm gonna write down here, 46288. It's a tapered ball nose, and I've used this one quite a bit, and it does work very good. Now I go on a raster, which is back and forth, back and forth. I have tried this offset one, and it just tears up the wood. So the raster works the best for me. So we'll go ahead and calculate that. That'll take a little time to calculate. You can see the yellow bar going across right there. Yeah, it's still going. It's quite a bit of detail. So now we're gonna preview all toolpaths. Now you can see the detail. It does look a lot better. Yeah, I think this design actually came out good. Okay, let's save all these toolpaths and go over to the machine and start cutting this out. The first thing I do is I get it all clamped down and squared onto my T-Track clamps. Now I'm using, I'm using some blocks that I'm wedging against all four sides and then clamping those blocks down with these um, Rockler T-Track clamps. The next thing I do is I install a 6210 spoil bar cutter by Whiteside, and here's a picture of it right here. And I XYZ it and I get ready to run this program. Here you can see the bit in action. I'm, I'm actually making two passes on this. I don't like to cut too deep at, at one time. Um, I'm cutting about an eighth of an inch each pass. So I'm gonna take a quarter inch off of this material and basically in two passes. Next up, we install the RD2075 and here's a picture of it right here. It's a down cut spiral bit. And we're, we don't need to XY it this time. All we need to do is Z it. So we go ahead and, and Z it out and then run the program. Now this is 20 times speed. And actually this quarter inch bit, it did pretty, pretty quick time of it. It's actually, it's cutting a little bit deep, but it did work out fine. And here you can see it's leaving um, a certain amount of detail of the 3D. And there you can see the grapes and the wine bottle and the leaves, it's starting to come together. Next up, we're gonna run another roughing toolpath. We're gonna to use this Amana. It's an eighth inch diameter, 46176K, um, made by Spectra. And we're gonna run another roughing toolpath. Here you can see it running the, the toolpath. And this is 20 times speed. Now this did take a, a few hours to get this, this toolpath done. The quarter inch toolpath went pretty quick but this one, it seemed like it took a couple hours to run this toolpath. There you can see it's finishing up the second roughing toolpath. Next up, we install the bit by Amana, 46288. This is a ball nose carving bit, and I've been really happy with this bit. It does a really nice job with the detail. I install that, and I Z it out, and then I run the program. 
This is 20 times speed. And this, this particular run with this finishing bit probably took five hours, four or five hours. And it does a, a really nice job. The de I'm really happy with the detail that this little ball nose finishing bit does. It's the only one I've used so far. I have a I have a um, a collection of the Amana carving bits, but this is the one that I've used and I've I've been successful with it, so I just keep using it. Anyway, this one takes a long time. Matter of fact, my battery went dead a couple times just trying to film it. But you can see the detail starting to show up, and this just goes back and forth, back and forth, finishing off this. After I finished running the finishing tool path, it was time to do the V-carb. And I'm using a 1502 white side bit, V-group bit. And I basically Z the, the V-bit out and run the program. Thanks for watching this episode of Outlaw Woodworking. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I always learn a lot every time I every time I do a 3D carving. Um, I learn something new every time, and this this time was no different. I learned that I could I could do two roughing tool paths. I could use a bigger bit in the beginning, and then a smaller one to basically speed up the the cutting time um, of the carving. 3D carving can take a lot of time. But yeah, I thought this one came out really nice. I'll show you a little close up of the detail. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Later. Here you can see a little bit of the detail. Now I stained this with a new stain called Cabernet. And um, actually I thought that was a good choice for a wine cellar sign. And then I, I put about four or five coats of polyur clear polyurethane on it. And this is the outcome. I thought it turned out pretty nice. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Work hard, get dope. I can't get no sleep, please make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I had.